Hey everyone, this is the Untwisted Voice. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. And again, thanks a lot for stopping by. You know, some of you out there might be asking, Hey Terry G, why are you doing a video on mouthwash? And what does mouthwash have to do with alcoholism? I want to start off by just telling you a little story. I was at a 12-step meeting about six months ago and I ran into a guy who had significant sobriety, about 10 years of sobriety, who just came back from a relapse of one year. And we got chatting a little bit and he said one morning, this is how the relapse happened, he said one morning he went into the washroom after having a bad couple of days, brushing his teeth, shaving, and he went to gargle with this bad boy, Listerine. Instead of gargling with it, he drank it. He drank it and he got wrecked off it. He got wrecked off Listerine. And you know something, I was like, I can't, I can't stand this shit. But imagine drinking it. That's, that's pretty, uh, pretty risky business, isn't it? Drinking Listerine it tastes horrible. It really, really does. But were you aware though, that this product has 26 0.9% alcohol in it. It really, really does. It only says on the back, the ingredients, it says alcohol, but it has 26.9% alcohol. This is the leader in mouthwash. This one here is the second most popular in the mouthwash business, Scope. And Scope has 18% alcohol in it. You can get pretty wrecked off drinking mouthwash. Probably the equivalent of the buzz is drinking one of these, a 26er of rum. Same sort of buzz, kind of. Because if you drink these products, there's other chemicals in there that will cause great harm to your physical health. You may experience dizziness, blurriness. You may have horrific diarrhea, vomiting. There's a lot of health, health reasons not to relapse on mouthwash. Do not drink mouthwash. And if you're drinking it over long periods of time, you'll more likely end up in the emergency or more likely death. I'm not kidding you. This stuff is loaded with chemicals. It's not designed for human consumption. It really isn't. And a lot of people do relapse on mouthwashes. That's why I'm saying if you're a recovering alcoholic or you have a problem with any addiction, buy mouthwash with no alcohol in it okay do that do that this over here is a genetic one generic generic mouthwash and it contains the same amount of alcohol as the listerine 26.9 percent alcohol so like i said before most of it has alcohol in it over the last couple of years they've been coming out with alcohol free mouthwash it does the same thing it really does it just doesn't have the burn to it, that little burn, but it does the same thing. It cleanses your mouth and it helps with gingivitis and it helps with uh, teeth decay. All those things that these products claim to do, th the ones with no alcohol in it do the same. The one I use is Listerine Zero. And let me tell you something, just because the label may seem, say zero or whatever, make sure you read the back. Make sure you read the back because some products out there, not necessarily Listerine, if there's a certain amount of alcohol in it, they don't have to say it on the label, okay? They don't have to say it on the label. I don't know what the percentage is, but if it's low enough, they don't have to tell you on the label, but they have to put it in the ingredients. So if you're buying Listerine or mouthwashes of any sort, generic ones or at the dollar store, wherever you go, read the label, okay? Make sure you read the label to make sure there's zero uh, zero uh, alcohol in it. Another thing I want to bring to your attention is this product. This is the, the Total Care Listerine. It looks kind of the same, right? Eh? It's got that purple color to it, but this has alcohol in it too. A little less, I'm not sure what the percentage is. I think it's about 15 to 16% alcohol in this one, but it still has alcohol. So when you're reaching at the counter for the Listerine, be careful to read the labels and make sure you get the right product. Another one that I use in the, in the past that's really good for me, that has really good for us, recovering alcoholics, is the Total Care Crest. It has no alcohol in it too. But again, read the label, read the label. So to backtrack a little bit, these products have a lot of alcohol in it. 
18.9, and this is a generic one that has 26.9. Most spirits beer, we'll, say, we'll start off with beer. Beer has about three to 6% alcohol in it. Wine has about, we'll say nine and a half, 10 to about 14 or 15% alcohol. And this right here has about 20% alcohol in it. It's 40 proof and so about 20% alcohol in it. So some of these products are really, really high in alcohol content. Before I conclude this video, I just want to say, you know, there's a lot of products out there that are great products that have small amounts of alcohol in them and large amount of alcohol, like the products that I mentioned in this video. But for myself, I lead an alcohol free life. So I am very aware of what I buy. If I buy a product that I am not familiar with, I make sure I read the label to see if it has any alcohol in it and I'm telling you to do the same if you are not familiar with a cough medicine a mouthwash or whatever it may be and read the ingredient label and you may be surprised that there's alcohol in products that you thought there is no alcohol in okay that's how I just want to leave this video it's buyer beware let's not set ourselves up for a relapse intentionally or unintentionally okay if you like this video leave a comment and if you didn't like this video leave a comment but if you can all subscribe to this video I'd really appreciate it this is the untwisted voice of Terry G and as usual look after yourself because it shows and remember one day at a time and I'll see you next time thanks for stopping by